if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. It's your girl Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love. You are the house of inspiration, the juice. It's November the 29th, 2021, and today the topic is We Don't Measure Up. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, mine was fun. I had a meeting on Saturday that I think went pretty well, and then, um, yeah, our little man ended up going to his cousin's birthday party. So, um, well, I found myself with a lot of alone time over the weekend. Because, <laughs> um, hubby, I guess, has this new job or whatever the case is. And so he's working on weekends now. Um, so it was kind of, kind of different. Things were quiet Saturday night, um. Which, I mean, I guess I should have bashed in or just really took advantage of or something like that. But, um, I mean, I got rest or whatever, but it was kind of weird. <laughs> it was kind of weird, if I'm being honest. And so, um, yesterday, I was going to say it was kind of the same. Um, but, obviously, I had a little man with me yesterday. And so, um, yeah. Uh, the only difference there is I was working on some stuff and um, hopefully I'll be announcing to you all soon that and everything like that. So, you know, I see God moving. I see some things in the works and um, I'm excited about everything. But um, let's get into this juice, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Basically this morning after I did my prayer meditation, um, there was a... I can't remember the first phrase that came into my mind, but whatever it was, as I was reading verses that um, stood out to me, one of them had the word breadeth, B-R-E-A-D-E-T-H, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, I did not, I, I, I defined it, I looked up the definition, but I didn't write it down. But basically it was referring to like, um, measurements in regards to width so yeah so that stood out to me this morning right and so um so i looked up versus centered around wide because i was like well maybe oh rooted and grounded was like one of the first things that came into my mind this morning and so as i was looking up versus centered around rooted and grounded the word bread if stood out in one of the verses and i defined it and then um width and all that kind of stood out and then uh, something else led me to think about measurements. <laughs> so, so that's kind of where my, you know, um, inspiration came from this morning. Um, cause I, I guess as I reflected on measurements, um, and read some of the verses that I was coming across, I was just reminded that we alone don't measure up like us by ourselves. We don't measure up. And I know people question all the time. This whole thing about like, well, why do we need Jesus? And why are things the way they are? And why this, why that, why that? And again, I don't think there's anything wrong with asking questions. I think if you ask God the questions, he's going to answer them. So by all means, ask God the questions. But I also, I guess, was just reflecting on um, just several accounts, man. Several different accounts that I was uh, coming across. Like, uh, for example, with the Pharisees, when they would come to Jesus and tell him about either his disciples wasn't doing something that they thought they should be doing or the fact that Jesus was eating amongst tax collectors or all these different things. Um, it's like they would come to him with something maybe carnal or earthly or whatever their opinion was, right? And he would come to them with something deeper. <laughs> uh, you know, even when we talk about that whole account where, let me see, wasn't it like, 
oh, if you, the whole adultery thing, they were like, oh, well, uh, you know, basically he was letting them know that if you say, if you say that, yeah, you, you know, you don't commit adultery, okay, but he's also saying that those that look at a woman lustfully is already committing adultery in their hearts. It's just, whatever it was just goes deeper. Like, no matter what people brought to the table, it just went on a deeper level when Jesus um, responded. And so, in a lot of ways, it's like we just don't measure up. Like, we're not going to be perfect, right? We're not going to be him in regards to, and that's why we need him, right? Um, some get it, some don't. But uh, that's what was coming across my mind this morning as I was um, doing this little study here. Oh, this is my mama watching me live, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's good to uh, have you here, too. I was wondering who it was. <laughs> well, thank you for watching live, mama. Thank you for watching live. Oh, my mom is listening. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, that, that's what came to my mind this morning. Um, and that's, you know, I, I read several different verses and several things. Um, I ended up reading the entirety of one section, but I didn't write none of that down, y'all. I didn't write none of that down. But let me share with you all what I did write, okay? And and, and mama, I, I tried to write a little neater this morning. <laughs> so hopefully we won't have no stumbles and bumbles, y'all. Y'all pray for me. Here we go. <laughs> First John 2 and 2, it says, He is the appropriation for our sins and not... For hours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Now, when I read that verse this morning, appropriation um, stood out to me, or propitation. I see, I'm not seeing any saying it right. Propitation. Propitation. I'm just going to spell it for y'all just in case y'all wanted to find it yourself. It's P R O <laughs> P I T I A T I O N. As I was um, looking up the definition for that this morning, um, it just kept leading me to other things. Like it would have another word that stood out, and I would I would define that word, and then have another word that stood out. But um, basically, it was like for atonement and all those different things. So again, people ask the question, they're like, "Well, why does you know God have to you know uh, take a blood sacrifice for forgiveness or all these different things?" And obviously, again, whatever we're thinking about, we just don't have a full understanding. Like, there's a, a deeper thing going on, like I just said a minute ago. Like, I mean, I already said it, y'all. I already said it. <laughs> Basically, there's more going on than, than what meets our eyes, right? And so, um, for whatever reason, even if we don't sit here and say that, okay, we know the exact reason why. For whatever reason, God required Jesus to be sacrificed, a sinless, quote-unquote man at the time, to be sacrificed for all, right? Um, because we don't measure up, <laughs> because we can do it on our own, because, I mean, there's several accounts of, you know, that fact. I mean, even if anybody that felt like they was good never could measure up to Jesus. And so that's what the thing is. That's why we need him at the end of the day. And that's the verse that stood out to me this morning. Speaking of that, 2 Corinthians 10 and 12 also stood out to me this morning as well. It says, not that we dare to classify or compare ourselves with some of those who are commending themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another, and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. Y'all, it's easy to compare ourselves, man. You know, I tell y'all a lot of time, like, um, you know, I've, I've done this as an actor. You know, you look at other people in their life and you're like, oh, well, this or that. Or you're like, oh, well, I don't do this what this person do it, and whatever the case is. But it, I think if we truly, truly get an understanding that, hey, all sin is equal in God's eyes, we can't measure up no matter how great we try to live and we need Jesus for that reason, um, then that should humble us, right? That should uh, 
give us reason to give grace and mercy to others. And so when you look at the Go Deep section today, those verses in there kind of is centered around that more so um, than this topic of uh, we not us not measuring up or any of these other verses that I've shared with you all. Um, I don't know. It's just something we got. I think we should think about on today. I mean, because I uh, just said again, several accounts in the Bible about, you know, uh, judging others and all these different things or, um, and y'all know how I feel about <laughs> that phrase. I know you do, but I mean, it's right. The Bible does say that, you know, uh, a lot of times people are judging people as if, oh, well, I, because I'm not sinning that way, what I do is better than what somebody else does. Forgetting the fact that none of us measures up. We all need that grace and mercy. We all needed Jesus, you know, and so, um, this is just something to think about on today. And another thing, just to reiterate that point that I just made, James 2 and 10. It says, for whoever keeps the whole law but falls in one point has become accountable for all of it. So, I mean, anybody that wants to live their life and act and pretend like, oh, yes, I am living a sinless life. I don't need Jesus. I'm going to live, live a sinless life. I live, I live according to the letter of the Bible and the letter of the um, commandments and all these different things. Uh, I don't need Jesus, right? Because there's people out there that have that kind of mentality. Um, you know, well, one, you don't measure up. According to the Bible, none of us do. That's just, I mean, <laughs> in, in my paraphrased way to tell you guys what the Bible is saying, um, you know, and there's several verses that reiterate that. So y'all can just look those up on your own. <laughs> but um, so one, your your idea, right, that you don't need Jesus and your idea that, oh, I live a good life, it, it doesn't, it doesn't measure up. It doesn't measure up. And so... Uh, if you're going to quote unquote live by the law and not by not by the grace mercy gift of Jesus, then this is for you. That last verse is all about you. <laughs> that because because you're not going to measure up, then that means you're going to fail at something. You're going to fall at something. You because they all have sinned and fallen short, right? Uh, that's what the Bible says. So that means you're going to become accountable for that. So. I would just say, hey, man, you know, let's, let's do what the Bible say. Let us go ahead and live according to the word. Let us understand that, okay, I need Jesus. Yes, I need Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this gift of grace and mercy that you gave me through Jesus. And because of that, I'm going to go and forth and show grace and mercy to my brother or my sister in Christ. And, or, and to all, really, and to all. And when you go deeper, and that's, I know that's... <laughs> That's on another level, but when you go deeper, you got to see, you got to so, show that same thing to those enemies and people that you feel like don't deserve it and all of that. Um, but they, I mean, you go, go deeper to reflect on that, but, um, but yeah, because I understand that I don't measure up, that again should humble us all to, you know, live according to the word, give others grace and mercy. And, and understand that we all need Jesus at the end of the day. So, y'all, that's what came to me this morning, y'all. I hope that that encourages you and inspires you in some way. I hope that you all go deeper and reflect on the verses. Let them marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. Um, yep, because that's the juice, y'all. That is the juice. <laughs> now, the, uh, the Bible verse of today is Colossians 1 and 13. It says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice i pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day and i look forward to talking to you all tomorrow if the lord's will bye-bye hello charmers visit ttcboutique.com for the latest in fashion accessories Twice the Charm, the source of women clothing.